Francis Katera Lubega died in February 2023. He had struggled with cancer for some time, but later died of a stroke. Katera is survived by 11 children. Five children share one mother, while six are from different mothers. He left valuable property and businesses. He left a lot of houses, lentils, uh, these are uh, um, Cyprus plantation. He left close to 100 cars, I can't be very sure. Although death is a reality, some people don't like to plan for it. It's probably why Kataira did not write a will. Dying without a will can precipitate a multitude of burdens for the deceased's family members. When he was sick, one of his sons, Tony Kataira, who had worked with him, mastered the running of his businesses. And when he was in a hospital, he gave me the authority to learn, to, to, to run his businesses and to run part of the family th properties uh, till when he died. He continued running the businesses when his father died, something that is being opposed by some of his siblings. We organized family meetings that took place at our home in Machi, India. And we failed to agree on some things. Like, we failed to get a proper accountability of the rent. A year after the death of their father, the property that is not bequeathed is a concern among the siblings. We've been depositing the, the fund on the, on the family account. Of which I was a signatory. But somehow, that account has been frustrated because the rent is not known. When we pushed to knowing how much is collected, the account was closed. We, we agreed as a family that he, before getting letters of, administ uh, letters of administration, we solved some family problems which we've been doing. Muzi left some debt which uh, he left, uh, he bought a, a certain land, a house. He managed to collect that money through, the, through his estate and we, we cleared the debt. The law makes it a criminal offense uh, to make any kind of transaction uh, when you are uh, distributing the estate of a deceased person without getting authority from court. The only action you can take is when you are protecting that estate. However, Tony Kataira says he's happy to have kept his late father's estate intact as the family continues to go through the rules of intestacy. That is why we are coming up, to seek a legal address to, to streamline the, the, the estate of the late. The message I have is to keep calm Let's get letters of administration. Let us sit as family. Let us see what to do with the properties of Wallet Dad. The process can be time consuming and exhausting for the surviving family members. George Musisi, a practicing lawyer, explains the legal process of sharing the property of an interstate person. Seek to open up a file at the Administrator General's office. Uh, the Administrator General's office will then call all concerned parties for a family meeting which will decide who the administrator should be, or the administrators. There can be more than one, because the law doesn't set a maximum limit. And then those people, after getting a, a certificate from the administrator general, they will apply to court, and they will be given letters of administration. They can then go ahead to, 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 to gather up, to distribute. Uh, they have authority, not on their own, but on, as part of all the beneficiaries. The law also highlights the percentages to guide the sharing of the property, under the rules of intestacy. All the, the, the biological children will share is 75 percent. Then the spouse, spouse, if it's a surviving spouse, will share 20 percent. And then the customary hair will get one percent. Chances are many times the customary hair is one of the biological children. So where the deceased left children who are still of school going age, that right now the law says that you first alienate of a portion uh, to cater for the education of those children. What happens if one dies without a spouse, children, parents or any relative? We'll have to stretch the extended family to see how far they can get the nearest kin who will then partake of the property. You have the ability to dictate the fate of your assets by making a will.